YouTube, 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 never fear, Logan Jays here, back with another sneaker review. Today I bring you a pickup that is an older pickup, I had these for several years, was it, I think they came out 2016, so almost six years ago, and um, I got them for my daughter, they re my daughters, they released before school, so I asked them, you know, if they wanted to get them, they both got them, same colorway, uh, I wanted the other colorway as this is the all black with a white swoosh the only reason i didn't get the other one was because it had an all white outsole and you know um I'm, I, I try to avoid all white outsoles uh if i can i know it's a fire sneaker but i just let it go i don't know if it always gave me a vibe of like a supreme collaboration it just was clean basic as they did air force one supremes uh, not too long before that, but um, when I saw them, I was like, oh man, that looks like, like Supreme could do it. Come to find out, Virgil, like all black upper with a white swoosh, as he did several colorways, um, different silhouettes, um, actually, uh, of Nikes. So every time afterwards, I was thinking, damn, yeah, they, they reminded me before of Supreme, but they were really like now uh, Virgil. And if Virgil would have dropped the Air Jordan 1, this would have been... Uh, collab that he would have done so first off get you the box really quick you got your black and red Nike box Air Jordan 1 box that we know you know they they flip it they change different colors on it classic you got your 1985 Air Jordan 1 right there love that touch so there you go you got your here, Jordan 1 Retro High OG, stock code 5550 and it is black, white, black, suggested retail, 160 Inside the box, get your Nike swoosh and your swoosh there, and don't know if you'll be able to see it, as I'm having a hard time finding it off camera. Here. Here's your stamp action. There is no DMY sticker. You got your tissue paper right here. There is no additional other stickers for like quality control or nothing. That's it. And here they are. I didn't clean them up. I just left them as this is how they've uh, come to be. Woo! Ying Yang black version right here. Look at that. Don't know if you'll be able to see it in the sun, but uh, there you go. You got all this glitter. I got you an up close look at the other one as well. <clears throat> Looking like the Trophy Room 1s here before they release. So, there you go. Um, they come with an additional set of white laces as the black laces are in there. Starting out with your rubber outsole here, all black. You got your Nike branding there, your pivot point. White midsole, white stitching. Keep it clean. You got your smooth leather but it does feel soft so they give us a nice quality leather not the most uh, butteriest of leather but it, it does feel decently soft is what i would say um and that's the whole upper then you got your leather here and they, i don't see no glitter going on on the on the white swoosh so get you an up close look at that this is crazy but that's what it is there is no glitter going on oh i do see it it must have uh flaked off right now as I do see it now or maybe because I touched it but just sitting here um, on this side there is none so I'm thinking because I touched it because I was touching the, the upper there and it transferred really quick you got your air Jordan wins logo right there in white love that contrast right there you got your black nylon tongue your tag up top is in red with Nike Air lettering and swoosh in white, as well as in the back. Your back side of the tongue is black. Sock liner is black. Your insole is black. You have Nike Air lettering in white right there. And it has that OG sock liner. You can see that's that sock, light. sock liner OG print. And this is your shoe tree here that they give you. 
Anybody wondering? How's it look? That's how it looks. Yeah, so. Yeah, that perforated toe box there. Look at all that glitter, man. I'm trying to give you a good angle right there. That sun. So. And I brought out uh, my daughter's uh, pair as it's a well worn. Wanted to wear them uh, with them, but um, I just never got around to it. You know, they wore their pairs really good. Uh, give you an up close look at that. And these went on sale, these were like dirt cheap. People didn't want them, man. I could have picked up a couple pairs of my uh, adult size. On both colorways they were just sitting there man and um yeah it's a classic sneaker this one should always be in the um uh production line as um as a staple man Th this is a go-to you know like you got your all white air force ones your all black air force ones this is, should be like for real always should be at the stores available and for anybody to purchase yeah they should they'll be uh, on sale and shit but still like bring them seasonal and just make a limited run and they'll always be there you know always sell them out and um great for back to school all white all black you can't go wrong man don't let me be up in there the companies but i know they got bigger and better plans you know however way they they got their whole rollout of whatever they got uh planned for the future and whatever you know it's all about um stocks and stuff like that it's not all about just uh supplying sneakers for the sneakerheads no it's about it's a bigger thing for the whole brand. It's the big marketing thing. Drop it, pull it, you know. But YouTube, that's it really quick. And it's crazy how the, the top portion up here by the collar doesn't have the glitter. It doesn't have by the eye stays though. It's just weird that some spots it doesn't have it. Here, here, and then it goes up to here. Then it has the, the glitter there. This one as well has it leads up to like where the eye stays are up here. All this up here, no glitter action going on up top, even up to here. I don't know. I know some of it rubs off from like being in the box, but it's just crazy how they let this happen, whatever they did. And then they kept going on for years that this was happening and nobody was like telling them, look, that process that we're doing is uh, leaving the sneakers all glittery. Like, you know, I don't even know when, when was the last time they stopped. Uh, like when the, the, the whole glitter thing stopped because I know the um, the bread toes and the production date uh, for these I think it's 2016 but the bread toes came out in 2018 and I got uh, glitter on those yeah these came out um, like July because the productions from um, March to April 2016 as I said they they got them before um, before school came out in the summertime, I got them. So it was like July, and they always kept it three months after the production date. So these released somewhere. Wait. I got these from Nike. One second. I'm going to show you my old address. No, these, these are from this address. So. Hmm. This is not... I think I waited then. See what happens when you do reviews all late? I thought, and I looked at this thinking it was a eight twelve, but I know these came out in the summertime. I actually got these um, in December, as like they were sitting. YouTube, I just checked, and the um, purchase date that I got them were in December. But I know these release in the summertime. I checked the Nike receipt. It's uh, December. I'll show it to you really quick. Here you go. So, I don't know. Um, that's what happens when you do reviews years later. You know, you just cop them. You're just like, okay. I thought I saw 8, 12. And I was like, oh, so I must have got them in August or whatever. And, um, you know, it was actually... December as these were sitting so um but yeah YouTube it's your boy Logan J hope you enjoyed the review and I'm signing out peace